Today on Girl vs. Wild, Casey will head to Cottonwood Beach. I'll have to survive in this climate for one whole day. No supplies, only my clothes. This is Girl vs. Wild. I need to focus on the necessities. Food, shelter, and predators. Focusing on the first one, I scavenge for food. My biggest concern is not getting enough nutrients to sustain me for one day. But I am reminded to be careful. Some plants, like this hickory bush, could be deadly. Keeping away from the plants, better safe than sorry, I go with small animals, like snakes. This snake is disguised to look like a stick. I guess this is my dinner tonight. Another food you can eat are little fish. There are tons lurking in these waters if you only take the time to look. You could make a fishing pole, but I decided to make a bucket. You can just find a piece of wood or tear them off the tree. Here's a good little piece of bark right here. Now all that's left to do is scoop them out. Once you see one, dip the bark in and pull it out. The water should drain out but what's left is the fish. And now it's time for shelter. I decide not to lodge in the deep forest because there are many predators which would like me as a tasty entree. So instead, I decide to make my shelter on this little beach. But don't get me wrong, there are still predators here. Like that alligator lurking in the water. And now for predators. I must be on my guard every second and every move. And I've already seen some evidence. There's evidence of bears. You can see the clawing and scratching they've made into this log. Seeing my boat coming in, I'm filled with joy. Overall, I've learned many things at Cottonwood Beach, but the most important is that this is a very diverse environment and you must be on your guard every second. See you next time on Girl vs. Wild. The Corporation of Public Broadcasting. Cotton. 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 The touch. The feel. Of the fabric of our lives. The touch. The feel. Of cotton.